Hello everyone, today inshallah we are going to talk about the second part from chapter 1 physical measurement for the first secondary stage physics curriculum. Now we are going to talk about dimensional formula. Scientists agreed to give a specific definition for each physical quantity. For example, speed is the rate of a change of distance or speed the distance covered through a unit time. This definition is applied everywhere in the world. For example, the term speed expresses the rate of a change of distance. The distance covered through unit time. So speed equal distance divided by the time. We get the equation, physical equation of speed from the definition of speed. The symbol we use in this book to specify the dimension of different physical quantities fundamental physical quantities are length is symbolized by letter L the dimension of length is L and the dimension of the mass is M and the dimensions of time is T cap so again the dimension of the three main fundamental physical quantities length, mass, time are LMT L, the first letter from the word length, written in capital, M capital for the mass, and T capital for the time. This is the dimensions of the three main fundamental physical quantities. When we express the above mentioned definition, the definition of speed in terms of the previous symbols, mass, length, and time, we can get what is known as the dimensional formula of the speed. For example, speed equal distance divided by time. Distance is type of length divided by time. So the dimensions of speed L divided by T. A dimensional formula cannot be written in this form, L divided by T, must be written in the form of multiplication times. So, we can write the dimensional formula that expresses the speed length times T power of negative 1. Accordingly, most of the derived physical quantities can be expressed in terms of the fundamental physical quantities, mass, length, and time. Each has a certain exponent, so we can be can able to define the dimensional formula for any physical quantity. It is a formula that expresses the derived physical quantities in terms of the fundamental physical quantities, mass, length, and time. Each has a certain exponent. Again, dimensional formula for any physical quantity it is a formula that expresses the, the derived physical quantity in terms of the fundamental physical quantities the main fundamental physical quantities mass length and time each of them has a certain exponent according to the physical quantity so we can get the general formula from this definition that depends on mass, length, and time. A here represents the physical quantity, for example, speed, acceleration, force, any derived physical quantity, equal L power of positive or negative A and M power positive or negative B, T capital power positive or negative C. Where length symbolized by L and mass symbolized by m and time symbolized by t all of them written in capital letters a here represent the derived physical quantity and a b and c are 
the exponent or the dimensions of length, mass, and time respectively. Now here we have an example. Find the dimensional formula of the following physical quantities. For example, velocity. And here we have the definition of velocity, rate of the change of displacement. From this definition, we can write the rule. Number two, find the dimensional formula of acceleration, which equal to rate of the change of velocity. This is the definition of acceleration. <coughs> Solution. First, we are going to find the dimensions of velocity. From the definition, velocity equal rate of the change of displacement or the displacement covered through a unit time. So, velocity equal displacement divided by time. Here, we from the physical equation or the rule, we can write the dimensions of velocity. D here is the symbol of displacement and the displacement is a type of length. So, velocity dimensions of velocity equal length L divided by T capital L here is the dimensions of displacement which is a length by the way and T capital here is the dimension of time we say that before dimensional formula cannot be written in this form we cannot write L divided by T. It must be written in a multiplication form or times form. So here the dimensional formula of velocity equal L T power of negative 1. We change the power of T from positive to negative because we change the divided sign into times sign. The other example acceleration equal velocity divided by time rate of a change of velocity the time taken to change the velocity of the object here we can get the dimension of acceleration by dividing the dimensions of velocity divided by the dimension of time lt power of negative one which is the dimensions of velocity divided by the dimension of time which is t cap so the dimensions of acceleration equal l t power of negative two again l capital t capital power of negative two so if we have a physical quantity we can get the rule from the definition of the physical quantity then finally we can get the dimensional formula of the physical quantity from its root. Also, we can get the unit of measuring the physical quantity from the dimensional formula by substituting the letters that represent the physical quantities length, mass, time, L for length, M for mass, T for time by a proper unit. For example, we get the unit of measurement by substituting the symbols of dimensions by proper units. For instance, the unit of measuring speed will be meter per second by actually changing length by meter and time is measured in seconds. So we can write the unit meter per second. And also we can find the unit of measuring acceleration by the same way by actually changing the <coughs> length by its unit meter and the dimension of time by its unit which is second here we have a table that contains different dimensional formula for drive it physical quantities. In this table we have the physical quantity, the rule, the dimension of the physical quantity, finally we have the unit. 
The first physical quantity here is area. The rule used to calculate area area equal length times width. So we have here two lenses multiply each other, which here is a type of lens. So the dimensional formula of area will be L times L equal L power of 2. Again, the dimensional formula of the area equal L capital power of 2. We can get the unit by replacing the letter of the dimension, which is L, by the letter of the unit of length, which is M. So the measuring unit of area will be N power of 2. Here we have another different physical quantity, which is volume. The rule used to calculate the volume is length times width times height. The dimensional formula of the volume will be L power 3. Why? Because we have three lenses multiply each other. Length times width times height. Width and height here is two types of length. So the dimensional formula of volume will be L power 3. Finally, the unit of the volume, we can get the unit by replacing the letter of the dimension, which is L, by the letter of the unit of the lens, which is M. So the measuring unit of volume will be M power of 3. Density, which equal to mass divided by volume. Here, the dimension of the mass is M capital, and the dimension of volume, L power 3, as we said before. So here, the dimensional formula of mass divided by the dimensional formula of volume which is L power 3 will be give will give me the dimensional formula of density which is ML power negative 3. We cannot write the dimensional formula in divided form. We need to convert it into multiplication form. So by replacing the divided sign by times sign so we will change the power of L L power 3 into L power negative 3. We can get the unit of density from the rule kilogram per meter power 3 or kilogram meter power negative 3 from the dimensional formula. Any one of them is right. So if you remove the divided sign and put time sign instead of it, it will written in this formula kilogram meter power negative 3. Here we have another physical quantity which is velocity. Velocity equal displacement divided by time. So displacement is a type of length divided by time which is T capital. So the dimensional formula of velocity will be LT power of negative 1. The unit can be written meter per second, the measuring unit of length is meter and the measuring unit of time is second, or meter second power negative one like the dimensional formula here. M instead of length, which is meter, and second instead of the symbol of time T capital and the power as it. doesn't change. Acceleration. The rule used to calculate the acceleration velocity divided by time. By dividing the dimensional formula of velocity divided by the dimensional formula of time, we can get the dimensional formula of acceleration, which is L t power of negative 2. We can write the measuring unit meter per second square or meter second power of negative 2. Force here, the rule used, mass times acceleration. The dimensional formula will be the dimensional formula of the mass times the dimensional formula of acceleration will be mlt power of negative 2. The measuring unit of force is kilogram meter second power of negative 2 kilogram the measuring unit of the mass m capital and meter the measuring unit of length l capital and the second is a measuring unit of time t capital so the measuring unit of 
force kilogram meter second power negative 2 or Newton now we have a question find the dimensions and units for each of the following work equal force times displacement pressure equal force divided by area momentum equal mass times velocity the answer the dimensions of force mlt power negative 2 and the dimensional formula of displacement is L by multiply the two dimensions times each other we can get the dimensional formula of work which is ml power 2 t power negative 2 the units of work kilogram meter power 2 second power negative 2 like the dimensional formula or kilogram meter power 2 per second power 2 we have here another unit which is newton dot meter which is a measuring unit of force newton times a measuring unit of displacement which is meter and finally we have the common unit which is joule here we have another example which is pressure pressure equal force divided by area the dimensions of force mlt power of negative 2 divided by the dimensional formula of area which is l power 2 so we have the dimensional formula of we can get the dimensional formula of pressure from this relation ml power negative 1 t power of negative 2 the measuring unit kilogram meter negative 1 second power of negative 2 or kilogram per meter second power 2 Finally, we have the momentum. Momentum equal mass times velocity, so the dimensional formula of mass is m capital and the dimensional formula of velocity lt power of negative 1. Finally, the dimensional formula of momentum will be mlt power negative 1. The measuring unit of momentum can written by two ways kilogram meter second power negative one or kilogram meter per second here we have some important notes about about the dimensional form to add or subtract two physical quantities of the same kind such as mass and mass velocity and velocity length and length they must have the same dimensional formula such as m and m or lt negative one lt negative one for velocity or speed and have the same units such as kilogram and kilogram meter per second and meter per second they must have the same dimensions and same units if two quantity of the same kind but having different units one unit should be converted into the other unit before adding or subtracting them so we have here an, an example one meter plus 170 centimeter cannot be added in this form so we need to convert one of them to the other unit here we convert the meter into centimeter one meter equal 100 centimeter then we will add them 100 plus 170 equal to 170 centimeter multiplying or dividing different physical quantities of different dimensions gives you a new physical quantity for example dividing distance over time gives us speed Dividing mass, divided, di dividing mass and volume equal the density, give us density. Numerical constants, numerals such, such as by, half, two, and trigonometry functions such as sine, cosine, and tan have no dimensions. If you find any one of them in a rule, you can consider them not exist. Dimensional formula cannot be added or subtracted, but can be multiplied or divided. For example, L power negative 1 plus LT power negative 1. Again, LT power negative 1 plus LT power negative 1 equal LT power negative 1, not 2 LT power negative 2. Why? Because dimensional formula cannot be added. If you add, if you have a rule that contains a dimension, if you have a rule that contains two physical quantities of same type it will give you the same physical quantity length plus length equal length velocity plus velocity equal velocity 100 
centimeter plus 270 centimeter equals 370 centimeter it give it will give you length you can multiply or divide different physical quantity or similar physical quantities and it will give you another new physical quantity for example length times length equal l power of 2 but l plus l equal l again multiplication l times l equal l power of 2 but l plus l equal we have here a solved example show that the following relation is dimensionally correct kinetic energy equal half times mass times square of velocity if you know that the dimensions of energy is e equal m l power of 2 t power of negative the dimensional formula of energy by the way the dimensional formula of energy is the same dimensional formula of work solution dimensions of the left hand side of the relation is ml power 2 t power of net two, the dimensional formula of kinetic energy or any type of energy the dimensional formula of the right hand side half here is a numeral which having no dimension so we have here mass times square of velocity only so mass times L divided by T power of 2 which is the dimensions of velocity power of 2 will be M L power 2 divided by T power of 2 so we need to convert it into multiplication form so it will give me M L power 2 T power of negative 2 Therefore, kinetic energy equal half times mass times square velocity is dimensionally correct because we have the same dimensions of both sides. So finally, the dimensional formula is used to check up to check up the variety of rules to check if a specific rule is right or wrong. If the two dimensions of left hand side and right hand side are equal, so the rule is dimensionally correct. This is the end of part 2. See you soon, inshallah, and good luck.